Bishop Sean and Lawless. We'll meet you at ringside, folks, for this upcoming bout. Lolo was pretty good as a villain. Yeah. Because he knew how to talk. Right? But again, there was a, it had its moment. Oh, it was still pretty good. But it was just like a little bit of all this time. Introducing first from Canada. The jokes are like kidding. We had 230 pounds. It was in a short. Because they are in a short. Indeed, Captain Obvious, there's a lot of bad blood going on between the perfect crime and Tag Chat. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, the show was watched by Aquafina, the refreshing beverage of Death Row. And here is Sean, here is the ring leader, who the man who started all of this, all of this camaraderie dating back almost three to four years ago with the rejects. Bobby Falcon, I'm sorry, Brian Falcon, who taught these men in business school. This is the reason why they made a proposal, Sean and Lawless. They put their careers on the line in a hell in the cell with the tag team belts. They showed it to Vicious Jeremy, CEO, and Vicious Jeremy approved with the stamp of approval. And as we are witnessing these two tag teams in the Hell in the Cell, we just saw two guys that carried down the ambulance. Muhammad Hassan and Titanium are gone. They are in a stretcher, they were carried out. Must more bodies be put in the hospital? I don't know what's gonna happen. Perfection is too confident. And Lawless as well. I hope these guys see what they're coming. Their careers are at stake. And that's no laughing matter, ladies and gentlemen. Like, what the hell happened? Like, this is the first time this ever happened. 
We all went back home there. My dad and I drove Melissa back home. She was all dead. And we all... Jeez. <laughs> Bain all, Bain all. <laughs> That was Saturday. I watched Train Spain's Automobiles. <laughs> and I even watched Train Spain's Automobiles again la like last night. I went to my mom's place up in Wendover and I made a little short video. It's already done. It's not on YouTube, but it's... Um, it, can, it, it looks more like a trailer, but it's like a, it's like a like spooky stories. It's almost like a prelude to Halloween. My mom's, my mom and my aunt's stories are basically true stories, and they were like, they're like ghost stories. So we have to watch this in the dark with the volume full blast. Um, well, because you can, because I'm trying to, because you, you, you can hear everything, the, the background music, I put some really cool background music in, in, in the video, and you got to hear what they're going to say, because it was a night, and we can't talk too loud, you know, you know what I mean? Because we're in, we're still in a community, and we can't be too loud, it was like late, so, <laughs> I'm like, louder, but whatever, I mean, like, yeah. For those who can hear it properly, then great, but for those who cannot hear it properly, speak loud. <clears throat> I also ate a lot that night, too. I, I painted my pumpkin. I ate lots of candy, and supper was orgasmic, and I couldn't eat anymore. I felt so bloated. Today, all I had to eat was uh, macaroni and spaghetti sauce and some soup. Compared to the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I ate like a fucking monster. We all probably gain a lot of weight. Did you, I'm gonna burn it. Did you, even, did you even go on the scale to see how much you weighed? Probably lost it because I went backwards. Hey, look. No, oh, there's the one time at Christmas. No, 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 no. I mean, like today. You know, at Christmas you eat a lot too. Around the holidays. That's, that's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, this, is, was, this is holiday this, part one ish. But no, like one time at Christmas time. I like seriously weed myself, like probably after catching one after the holidays. I'm like, what the hell's going on? You lost four pounds. <laughs> you lost four. It'll look like it. I think the last time the doctor was telling me. Yeah. So, what's just going on here? I just lost four pounds. <laughs> it was Christmas. But yeah. Bone bang. Probably just like one of these things like, going on the face. Back at the uh, Tigger Giant Tiggers! Uh, I'm glad, but all of Friday, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I was just unable to completely enjoy Friday well, until until like 2. Because then I, and then even after that, I was worried that, like, what if he forgets that I don't do it? Like, I was constantly worried that No, 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 you, you told me at the flicks, I think. Yeah. I, I remember that you told me about that, I'm like, well, dude, it's the weekend. No, but he, because I told you on uh, Thursday, again, that he left it with, I'll call you if I have anything for, for you Friday. And did he call you? In, no, in, in the end? No. John. He's a dispatcher, that's his job. He's supposed to do that. He's supposed to go in your mind and into your soul. Well, it was like, like everyone's having an after like, oh, pfft. 12, what was it? Like, okay. What time was it? I think you say. I don't know, I called her and eventually made the plan to meet up at her. I don't know if I even accept her. Yes! Really? Suck. He's your hero. He's your Olympic gold medalist hero. Oh my goodness. Perfect shot is let on. Just landed in the in the ring. There's a hole in the roof, Captain Obvious. Wow. The roof is on fire. Oh my god. What? You've gotta be shitting me, Tiffany Cufflings. How can Perfect Sean kick out like that? That's amazing! Oh! 
Watch out there. Oh my goodness. He fell. He fell face first. Now everyone is crawling out like zombies in a house. In an abandoned, an abandoned house. Oh wow, saved by Kurt Angle. The titles are still safe in the tag champs' corner. And now what the? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, man. You have gotta be kidding me. Oh no. Wait a minute, Laws almost fell off the roof there. Oh my goodness, hanging on by a thread is Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII. Somehow Cloud managed to get back onto his feet. Everybody in the corner. This is very dangerous. Brian Falcon, I hope you're watching this. It's all your fault. Oh! Good grief! Another power bomb. This cell will never be the same again. Wait a second. Phoenix down. Phoenix down on Sean. Oh my god. This is nasty, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. Please tell me. They'll not go through the cell. Please. Oh my god. Safe. But that cell, that little roof is not safe. Someone is gonna, someone is gonna get hurt. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh my goodness, did you just see that? We have it all on tape, Captain Obvious. Well, then this audience member right here can see it on the show. Only on YouTube can you see this amazing wrestling action. Three men going through the cell, and Sean being one of the men who was in the ring moments ago. This match is insane. Two pieces of the roof has been broken off. What? What? Oh my god! Oh, I heard eight shells break again! Oh, there they go again. This is nasty! This is a nasty fight! Very nasty. He's going for the cover! Ah! What the fuck? Angle looks like the big cannon. But Wait a second, what's going on here? What is this? Someone's trying to pin the ref at the... What are you doing, Cloud? Cloud is attacking the referee while Kurt Angle doesn't have a momentum shift. You only get one. Seriously, you only get one. It's a great rule. Oh, what the fuck? What is, what is Cloud doing? In slow-mo. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Perfect Sean with that championship belt that centigrades right before the very eyes. And what's going on here? Sunset flip power bomb. No! Shit! Or a spiral tap, no, not, not really. As far as I'm with AJ Styles, it's finishing maneuver. That sunset flip power bomb me some moments ago, I thought it was all over and done with. Oh wow, man, bodies are flying everywhere. One, two, three! Ah! Man! It's all over, ladies and gentlemen! Looks like Perfect Sean and Lawless have retained their titles. God damn it. Cloud Strife wasn't tough enough, he wasn't strong enough or man enough to withstand the perfect crime.
but the perfect crime are still Tornado Tag Team Champions. Good God in heaven. And I think they're gonna, I think all four of these men are, are, are getting their heads checked. This is a nasty warfare. We saw bodies fly through the roof. Bodies are not supposed to fall that way, Captain. No, they're not. Oh my God. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is the FPW World Heavyweight Championship in a last man standing bag. Standing by right now with Rick Rocker is Winger.